What is going on everybody? Welcome back to LAH Studio. Today we're going to take a look at how to make a waffle structure. I'm going to turn something like this into something like this. The idea is that we can just have these guys slot into each other when we're laser cutting or anything like that. So let's get started. So to get started, we're going to have something like this. It's a closed poly surface and this really works with anything that's a closed poly surface. For now, I'm just going to use this as a demonstration. So I just have a surface that I manipulated the points for and we have the solid. First thing we're going to do is chop this up. So we're going to use the contour command to do that. And all we're going to do is type in contour, select this object or the object that you want to contour and I'm in the top view. And all we're going to do is draw a straight line, make, this, make sure this is straight. And we're going to go X first to make those contours. We're trying to make contours going this way and this way so that when they cross together, uh, you can have a structure that stands up by itself. It's going to ask for the distance between the contours. I'm in millimeters here. Make sure you know if you're making this into a laser cut model, uh, what the thickness of the board is. For this example, I'm just going to do 50 mils. And it's going to make these cut for me. Now it's important to have everything grouped here. So I'm going to hit control G to group everything. Now we're going to do this for the other side as well, going in the Y direction. So selecting the object that we're trying to contour and again, drawing a straight line and hitting enter. Now you can see the yellow lines is basically what it's cutting. And I'll show you guys in a bit, but make sure you group these guys as well. Now, going back into perspective, if I go ahead and hide what we had before or the actual shape, you can see that we've basically created lines and it's generating a nice outline or silhouette of our actual shape or our actual closed poly surface. And that's exactly what we want to have the X lines and the Y lines show up for us. Now, for ease of visualization, I'm going to drag this out by just say a thousand. Whatever unit works for your model works uh, well here, but just for the sake of demonstrating what I'm doing, I'm going to pull it out. Uh, this will actually be helpful for you too, so probably follow along as well. So now that we have both of our sections in the X and Y axes, what we're going to do is make both of these into planes. So all we're going to do is type in planar surface while selecting both of these guys, and you can see that all of these are now planes. Now, don't select off yet. We're going to use the command select last and it's going to select all of the different planes that we used. Now, remember every single one of our laser cut plywood or whatever you're using, they're not just flat. They have a thickness. Now, depending on what the thickness is, we're going to offset it by that thickness. Now, for example, if I'm using six mil plywood, I'm going to type offset surface and when it asks for a distance, I know I have six mil plywood, but it's good to give it just a little bit of tolerance because when you make the, when you actually try to slot one into another, it might not fit absolutely perfectly like you imagine in your head. So I'm going to type D here and give it just a little bit of a tolerance, like 6.05, something like that. Something very, very small. And I'm going to go ahead and hit enter one more time. And you can see what it's going to do is it's going to create that thickness for us. So here we have our six mil plywood uh, and it's going to look like this when it's completed. But you can see how one side is uh, like that and one side is like this. We have X and Y and we have the thickness now. Now I'm going to go ahead and just hide all the curves. So I'm going to select all this, the curves. I'm just going to go ahead and hide these guys as well. Now I'm going to group both of these as well and for the sake of showing you guys i'm gonna make these different colors because the next step is fairly important one blue one red now i'm gonna put this back and i'm going to basically make a copy so i'm holding down alt i'm getting this out and i'm making a copy whatever distance really works for you Okay, so now we're going to make the notches. Now for the notches, we want to basically have one slot into the other. And how we're going to do that is through the Boolean intersection command. It's going to ask for a first set of surfaces and you're going to select uh, one set, either the X or the Y, it doesn't matter. Hit enter or space. And then you're going to select the next set, hit enter or space. Now this might take a while. So be patient and wait for all these to come out. So. 
This is basically a visualization of all your notches. This is what all of your notches is going to look like. Now, if you don't want too much work, don't have too many notches. So when you're doing the contours, make sure that there's not too many contours when you're doing this. So that means turning up the contour, the distance between your, your contours. So these are all your notches. And what we're going to want to do is split these into half. The more lazy way what I'm doing right now is basically splitting these into half. It saves a lot of time, but if you really need something that's more structurally sound, uh, you're going to want to go in and basically create a, uh, a surface, maybe like a, I'll show you guys right now. If you create just a little square like that, and what you're going to do is just copy these guys um, at the half point for each one of these. If you want to make something that's a lot more structurally, structurally sound. Um, but for this example, we're going to go the fast and easy way and just cut everything from the middle. You guys will know what I'm talking about in a bit. Now make sure that this plane that you just created is dissecting every single one of these notches. I'm going to move this down just a little bit. Uh, yes, yeah, some, oh, somewhere in the middle uh, of, I guess the, the straight part. And what we're going to do is, is just split these guys. So I'm going to highlight everything, hit split and, oh, sorry. I'm going to highlight everything except what we're cutting it with, hit split. And then it's going to ask for a select cutting object when I hit that and give it a second to basically cut everything off. Okay, it's done cutting or splitting everything. We're gonna go ahead and delete that. You can see that if I ungroup everything here, that everything has been split between a top and a bottom. Now this is very important. So what we're gonna do is actually group the bottom section together and we're gonna group the top section together. Okay, so all of these guys are grouped. And for the sake of demonstration, I'm gonna make this a different color from the blue and the red. Now there's a top section and a bottom section. I'm going to select both of them and just type cap. That's going to fill in uh, the gap that's in between here because it's, it's technically not a closed poly surface. So we're going to type cap to basically close everything up so that it is airtight. Now, what we're going to want to do is you can either select the red or the blue. It doesn't really matter. And we're going to basically intersect or cut out these notches from that. So, if I'm bringing this over and I know what the distance is, is 1000, you can see that these are intersecting with each other. Now you can see that some of these don't actually come through. So when we cut it, it's not going to come through. How to counteract that is we're going to select this, type in scale 1D, and we're going to make sure to basically scale these guys. And it's very important that you guys are selecting this straight. So one point straight down to another point and just drag it out. If it's the bottom notch that you're cutting, you're gonna wanna drag the bottom notch out. If it's the top notch, we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna wanna drag it up. So make sure that it comes out and it's cutting what we want it to cut. So if we want the red to have a bottom notch cut out, then what we're gonna do is type in Boolean difference. And you guys will get this after I do this command. Um, we're gonna select the thing that we want to cut from, hit space, and then we we'll want to take the bottom out. So I'm going to hit space again. All it's going to do is cut the bottom portion off. So this is our notch. We've already cut it out. That's great. Now to do the blue portion. So again, move this back and we're going to run the same thing. Boolean difference. And then we're going to select the blue first because that's where we're cutting out from and then the notches themselves. And you can see that after this command is complete, what it's going to do is cut out the other portion. Now it might not look too impressive or it might not look like anything has really happened, but as soon as I lift this up, you guys can see that the notches have been created. If I turn on uh, render view, you can see that when we're actually assembling this thing, this top portion, will go and a notch exactly into the bottom portion. You can see that every single one of these notches is going to fit into the bottom portion there. Okay. And so that's what we've done uh, by doing all of these notches. And I think this is the fastest and easiest way to do this. Uh, but if you guys have any other ways or you want to show me something that's super cool that I can augment this method with, 
please leave that in the comments. That would really help everybody um, who's trying to do this, especially if you're in, in school and doing this for the first time. Uh, I hope you guys all enjoyed this. And if you did, please leave a like and do subscribe. It helps the channel a lot. Leave your questions down in the comments. I'll try to get to them. And also leave what you want to see next for this channel. I hope this helps and I'll see everybody in the next video. Bye bye.